I want to talk more about the body, how to change it, how to fix it, how to effectuate changes from 5D versus 3D. And this video is going to be just as interesting as the first video I did, which is tagged below. Our physical bodies exist in a space that we call physical reality. And our bodies, along with everybody else's bodies and other objects, exist as materialized energetic signature of something bigger. Here we'll call this the non-physical space or the non-physical reality. And this is populated with our image bodies. We'll make this a little bit lighter, which is sort of a matrix energetic signature of our bodies, or you can think it as our frequency bodies. Now, it would be naive to think that the non-physical space contains only the images of our body and the energetic signature of our body. It's probably also populated with all sorts of sentient beings to whom their reality is just as real as our physical reality is to us. Access to the non-physical space from our physical reality is done via our intention. And our intention must be clear, must be concise, and we must be at a certain level to access the non-physical space. So basically, even though everybody can do it, there is a training that's required to access the non-physical space. You can't just do it from living it in the world. This model of reality explains a few things, such as miracle healings, but also things such as voodoo and spells. This space is neutral, and basically it can be used with good intention and with evil intention equally. You do not have my permission to use any information that I'm teaching to do evil to another being. Once again, when your consciousness is floating in a non-physical space, your intention should be clear, concise, unique, steady, and complete. What does this mean? This means every single energetic body has an address. This is why usually when um, there is a witch or a wizard who does spells, they will require the person that you want to do a spell on, they will require either a piece of their DNA, such as some hair, some blood, or they will require a photograph, a date of birth, a name, an exact name, a place of birth, etc. Because every single energetic body has a unique signature in the non-physical space, and for them to access that, they need all this information. Now, you will need to be just as clear and concise when you enter the non-physical space with an intention of healing, with an intention of reshaping your body, with an intention of helping someone else. Now, a lot of people who enter the non-physical space may choose to ask help from one of the sentient beings that reside around here. And it is not clear what the rules of their world is and how much access they have from the creator, which is at the top here and outside of this, how much access they have into our physical reality. Sometimes they seem to have access, sometimes they seem to be allowed to help or to do harm, but we don't really know the rules of that. We just know that they exist and that they can be accessed. This is how prayer works and of course this is how spells or voodoo work as well. Now, how much access you have in the formless over here will have to do with your knowledge will have to do with your service, will have to do with your surrender. And whether it's good or evil, you will notice everybody needs knowledge. Whoever is good is in service of others or in service of God. Whoever is evil is in service of other entities. And you need surrender. You need surrender to a higher power. You need surrender to whatever angel you're working on or whatever demon you're working on. Remember, this whole game is manipulating energy in the non-physical space and it's organizing it or disorganizing it if it's effective and reorganizing it in a specific way. And for that, you have to be in a neutral or positive state when you enter. So for example, when somebody has a diagnosis, the fact that four doctors and four residents have observed that tumor in them, let's say, what will happen is when they enter the non-physical space, they would generally have doubts that this change can be effectuated. They will have fear about their diagnosis and they will have a lot of things that will be against them as they're going in. This is why prayer and letting go and surrendering to something bigger than you is effective a lot of the times in miracle healings. 
this is an overview in the non-physical space and by no means a comprehensive body of knowledge on it please study and learn more about it i use it all the time i'm very healthy and i also set my weight to a decimal point weight while working with it and i have been this weight for over two years it's 126.6 it doesn't deviate or if it deviates sometimes when i jump on the scale within two or three days it's reset back to that by me going in a non-physical space and effectuating some changes good luck